Hey, but first of all, please press on the subscribe button. Press the bell icon on YouTube app and never miss another update. Hi guys, this is the Tech Guy 007. I hope you're doing great. So today I'm going to be showing you guys on how to basically print from your email okay so it's straightforward I'll just show you how to do it just in case you guys don't know okay so I'm on my Gmail account so this is basically uh, the same on other email platforms uh, if you ever wanted me to show you on the other ones then I could do so as well okay so let's go ahead and see how we do this right so um, I've opened this page it's just an email from a company like random okay so um, what I want to do is I want to print this so on the top right hand side you can see this thing uh, these three little dots so uh, I just click on there click on print you see in here it says print okay so now if we look on the left side of our screen uh, you can see some uh, settings for the printing okay now this email I have set it to obviously fit the margin like the the full screen so that when I'm printing it's printing the whole email and not just part of it you know so um, I'll just show you guys on how to adjust some of the settings because um, obviously sometimes it's got default settings on and um, it will just print half of your email which is not which is not what you wanted so yeah let's go ahead in here it says um, so let's first of all look at um, the first option so it says in here destination of so you don't want it to be saved to anywhere obviously you want to leave that as it is um, it says pages so what pages you wanted uh, so because mine is just one page I'll say all otherwise if you had multiple pages you could have um, said in here whatever page you want to print or if you want to print a certain page so like one to five or whatever you just want to uh, in here just write one to five uh, and then that would just print it but because i don't have uh, uh more than one page it says out of bounds page reference whatever so that's fine i just say all and then at the bottom it says the layout so at the moment my page will be printing as landscape because i've set it to landscape as the email is a landscape so um otherwise if i wanted to print portrait this is how it's going to look uh, which is also fine but I usually print on landscape because some of my emails are like um, long and the length of the line they write so um, so yeah landscape would be a better option for me so I'll just change it to landscape and then at the bottom it's giving me the options to whether I wanted to print it black and white or a color print so I can either choose black or um, color a color or black and white so in this case I'm going to be going for black and white because there's no much color that I wanted so yes yeah, just writing and then it says more settings and here it says the page paper size it's obviously like an A4 letter size that I wanted so that's fine I just leave it as it is or otherwise if you want it to be more specific I want to say a4 then you could do so as well but for me a uh, letter should be fine and then the margins it says default and then I just want it to be default and not touch any of the other ones so that's fine yeah the main bit that I wanted to actually point out to you guys was the scale okay so it's important because usually the scale for my is going to be a hundred but some of the emails um, would obviously cut the margin so like it would it would basically cut this bit so it would come up to not and not the uh, to enroll you know so say I'll just show you an example so if I say 20 okay so you can see that there are some bits that are cut in here obviously if you wanted to print the whole email and so that all the writings fit into that one page so you want to change to a scale where you can see all the writings okay so 100 in this case is fine but otherwise usually I um, bring the scale a little bit down so that it can fit the whole screen okay so and then it says uh, options for header and footer I mean it's just basically the date and everything I don't want it it's not a big deal um, background or graphics no just take more ink so that's fine I'll just minimize that for now um, and then 
in here so remember we said we leave this as it is um, if we don't click on this option it's just going to give us a page where it will be asking us to save it to somewhere so if I say print in here instead of in, before if I say print in here before actually clicking on this option, let's see what's going to happen. So I'll say print. This is going to give us give us an option to save it somewhere before we can print it, which is sometimes it's not very convenient. Like you don't want to be saving email to anywhere, mm, especially if it's just writing. So yeah, I just want to cancel that. I'll go back to where we were right so now I want, I want to click on here and uh, this page should come up okay so as you can see it's telling me that what it's basically obviously the right options now so it's basically taking us um, straight to the printer so the printer that I have is the XP640 series so that's fine I've selected that I just want to say print now let's go to the printer and that that has printed so what we wanted all right so that's the end of this tutorial i hope you liked it don't forget to share it subscribe for more and also on the description down below i will be having a link to my other channel please have a visit and don't forget and don't forget to subscribe to it if you like cooking and natural remedies that can cure your illnesses okay and obviously share it thank you bye